Hello everyone, so this is my what I got for Christmas video, Christmas haul, Christmas loot, whatever you want to call it. And I do have a couple things I'm going to say before I show what I got, because I already know the comments that are coming, so I'm just going to say some beginning parts real quickly. Yes, I got a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of my, I actually picked out almost everything this year, and I kind of bought it myself even. And... I got a lot of stuff like months before Christmas, and I got a lot of stuff, um, a lot of prior models, uh, like half the original price or less. So, yeah, I looks like a lot, and I actually technically didn't pay too, too much for a lot of the stuff and all of that. So, I'm not spoiled or trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just showing what I got for Christmas. Um, because Christmas is fun, and I, yes, I get a lot of stuff for Christmas, but I enjoy everything, I'm grateful for everything, and I'm so, so happy with everything. And it's just really fun and exciting. So, I will do a little overview-ish thing first, I guess. So, down here, some models. Over here, oh, and by the way, the, that stuff is just decoration decoration horses they're not they're not I didn't get those for Christmas they're just up there so there's that stuff oh, and over here do, do, do. and then um, kind of lastly to show that big thing which I'm gonna be talking about in a few minutes as well yes that is very exciting Alright, um, I actually want to start off with this little horse real quickly. Because she's actually not a Christmas present. I just happened to get her right before Christmas, so I thought I'd show her. Because she is so darn cute. This is a custom flocked uh, Briar Clydesdale foal. And she is just the most adorable fuzzy little thing ever. I've kind of always wanted a flocked briar. I'm not huge on flocked models, but she's a big exception. She is just too darn cute. Um, I love her little wings. They are just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, and who I got it from like, does these custom flocked models on eBay. They're really, really nice. I really like them. I forgot her name. I actually know her on Fa um, seen her on Facebook and stuff, but anyway. She is so cute. Um, I don't know if you can see her eyes. They're not really coming up on the camera. Focus camera, maybe. But she has like little, um, I think they're like glass eyes or plastic eyes, something like that. They, um, they're not showing up. But, um, yeah, so I bought her for myself. She is so, so cute. Ah, I love her so much. She's so adorable. I am absolutely in love with her. I can't even. Yes, like I said, she is fuzzy, so she's like soft when you touch her. She's not um, a smooth plastic feel. She's actually soft and fuzzy, and she is just adorable. She is so, so cute. I was so happy when I got her, and she's like better than I expected she would be. All right, so now we'll move on to the actual um, Christmas stuff. I realize everything's kind of laying about, but okay. Um, I'll start over here, I guess. Sorry for the sound of the heater. Oops, I just pressed buttons on it. Okay. Over here. Um, I guess I'll do these girls first. These are three Wixom models I got um, from, a really, from someone for really cheap. So, uh, I got... I just forgot their names. There's the black one here, and then there's a Palomino Belgian, and then there's another black one, which is the same as this one. So they're like a little pair, and it's really cute, because if I ever, for some reason, had a driving team or something, they'd be perfect for that. And um, she came with a little halter, which is really nice. It's got nice, um, whatever those are called, little buckle thing there. Ugh. So those three girls are really cute. Um, I've, the Wixom mold has grown on me a lot since I got one on her and stuff, so... Yeah, I got three more of those big girls now. They're so adorable. Uh, now I have some new inbox riders. Um, actually, like, all of these I've been meaning to get for a long time, kind of, but i just been, um... 
waiting for Christmas. Like all the new box spreaders, I mean, most of them like I've been waiting to get like all year and then just got them for Christmas. Um, so we have the Best of British Irish Draft Horse. Wow, it is really dark. I'm sorry you can't really see that. Um, I actually got the Gorilla, 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 Gorilla. I still think this mold is a stallion or a gelding, even though it's technically not. But, um, the American Quarter Horse, horsey thing. I got the Gorilla one. I'm not a huge fan of this mold because it is kind of wonky and weird. But I really love the color on this guy, so I ended up getting him. He is just... Oh, I wish you could see it better. My goodness, the light is terrible here. Um, he is just really, really pretty in the coloring department. Uh, I just wish he had a better sculpt and stuff going on. But he is still really cool. That color really makes up for it. Um, over here I have a Fjord horse who I got for cheap. Uh, I wanted him and then I luckily found him for... Uh, like half the price he normally is so that was really cool down here is old Bob he's been out for a while I believe um, I kind of didn't plan to get him at one point but I went ahead and got him because I have really been falling in love with the adios mold lately it's just so cute I love the adios mold now so I'm kind of trying to get more of those guys and um, I really like his blanket and he comes with a little uh, Abe Lincoln top hat and stuff, so I figured he was probably going to be worth it. I can't wait to pull him out and actually see his coloring better. Over here is R C H Vin de blah blah. I don't know how you pronounce that. I got him as well. I didn't really plan to get him before because I don't know, I just didn't. But he was cheap, so I got him because he was cheap. And he is pretty. He's a nice dark, dark bay. So I do like him. And down here is uh, Headley Britanna. I am kind of not a huge fan of the strapless mold, but it has been growing me, growing on me as well. And I kind of wanted a nice, um, nice one in matte that I could use with like tack and showing and whatever. I don't know. And. Um, so yeah, I got her. She's really pretty, and um, I actually got her because my friend, uh, I got one for my friend, and then I decided later on that I wanted one too, so anyway, yeah, she's really pretty. We'll move back into, um, hopefully some better lighting. Maybe I'll go down here and do the other boxed ones real fast. Um, we'll do him in a minute. Yeah, get over there. Actually, this horse was supposed to be over there. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, you can't really see her too well, but this is, uh, Don't Look Twice. She's really pretty also. One I've been wanting ever since she came out, or I saw the pictures of her. Which was literally like a year ago now. So I've been wanting her for like a year, and again, I just waited until, um, Christmas time came around, and then I got her. Behind her, I kind of didn't have him out too much, because... I already got him. I have got him last year for Christmas. I got him again though because one, he was cheap and two, he'd be really fun to etch. And this is the Weathermont Ethan Morgan. But yeah, I really want to etch him because his color is just perfect for etching. He would make a really nice um, Pinto or maybe, maybe an Appaloosa. I'm not sure find out what I do with him later but I really love etching and yeah so I got him and lastly I got Frankel who I did I uh, wanted to get but he was just kind of didn't want to pay the full price for him and then what do you know I found him again for cheap so I got him as well he is really pretty I really like him he's gonna go with my little um smarty jones conga I have going on which I really did not mean to conga that mold as much as I have but yeah and then this guy right here, oh my goodness, he is so pretty, I'm in love with this model. Oh my goodness, look at him. Ooh, he's so pretty. He is some glossy goodness going on up in here. This is a vintage charcoal, uh, glossy charcoal fighting stallion. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while now, ever since I have gotten uh, kind of big into charcoal models. I think they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness. 
So I got him and I love him. He is so pretty. He does not have eye whites, um, unfortunately, because I did kind of want the eye, light, eye white version. But um, I got him for a really great deal. Um, at least I thought so. He is like in really nice condition too. There's only a little bit of problems up on his ears and on his face right there. Yeah, you can see that. Otherwise, he is actually really, really nice and he's not yellowed. He is a really dark, dark, deep black. He's not the brownish colored ones, which I don't really care for as much. He is a nice, nice black, glossy. Ugh, he is just fabulous. I love him so much. So that is that handsome dude. Okay. Oh, and I'll go back to the models on the table in a little bit. We'll go back over here. Uh, this is Padma and Fabian. I already talked about them in another video. If you want, you can check out that video because I talk about them when I open them and stuff. Because um, I didn't... Yeah, I already talked about them. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, we'll do the stuffed animals last. Rish, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I got the complete set of the Lakota ponies, which I was really shocked and happy to find. Someone was selling all of them. I thought it was going to take me forever to find all of them. Um, I'm a big fan of the Foundation Stallion mold, by the way. I, it's a childhood mold, so I got nostalgia reasons why I really like it. The other one is over here on the table. So I actually technically have five now because um, I had one before, but um, now I have the complete set plus an, plus an extra one. So um, I'm really excited about that. And what makes them different is the little markings on them. They all have little different markings, and the one over here has like a, um, nah, that marking on it. I knocked some ponies over, oh dear. So yeah, I'm really, really happy now that I got all those. I really was not expecting to um, get all of them for a while. And then sitting here in the other uh, Lakota Pony's place is Elska! Oh my goodness, I love this pony. She is so cute. I'm so happy to get her. And she is just adorable. Oh my goodness, my dog won't stop barking. She is just adorable. I love her little um, face. It's just so cute. Her mane is wild and crazy. Craziness. But her tail is Fabulous. Look at that. Swishy goodness. I love it. She is so cute. She, um, her dapples are a little, mm, little fish scaly and stuff, but yeah, she's so cute though. Um, really, really love this mold. This mold is fantastic. Kathleen Moody did a fabulous job on her, I think. Yeah, I'm in love with her. I can't wait to see her in more colors someday. Over here, we have some vintage models. Here's some western ponies, which I'm not huge, hugely into the western ponies. But I got them in a lot with uh, these three western prancing horses, which um, are another childhood mold. Not, my, not, I don't like them as much as I like the Foundation Stallion. But they're still um, kind of a childhood mold, and so I really um, like them for that reason. And they're cute, and I like their little... Um, Two of them have these cool little revolver bits, which is just really fun and interesting. And they all have their saddles and stuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. So, those three guys. And I did not forget about these two. These two I also got for like a really great deal. Um, I wasn't wanting the foal as much. I didn't even think I really realized about the foal. But I really wanted the mare because I like Pam a lot also. But, um... Yeah, I got this cute foal, and then her mama, Pam, and I actually have a stallion to go with these two, which I'm really excited about as well. Um, she is so cute, oh my goodness, look at her. I love her, look at that face. Such a sweet face. Oh, my camera is not wanting to focus on her. Yeah, she's so sweet. So, so sweet. I like the Pam models a lot as well. They're just very sweet and cute. So that's her and her little baby. And then is this the last horse? No, I have one more. Two more kind of. One more to show here. I got Platinum Star. He was not one I actually planned on getting. He was a last minute purchase because someone had him for what I thought was a pretty good deal. 
So I ended up buying him and he is really, really pretty. Wow, I love his markings and his coloring is just fantastic. And I love his a little bit longer mane and tail than the other Latigo models. Uh, his dorsal stripe is not done completely in the middle, unfortunately, but I know a lot of them had that problem. So that's him. He is fantastic. He's gorgeous. I don't even know what I'm going to do with him yet. I'm probably going to show him, try him at the show ring maybe. But um, he seems like a fun model to do performance on or something. If I do performance, I've been thinking about that. Maybe getting into performance someday for just a little bit. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's him. He's really pretty. I love him. Um, I guess I'll do the other stuff up here first while I'm over here. Um, I also got a Captain America... I think it's like the Winter Soldier style, or is it the... I don't know what style it is, but it's Captain America jacket thing, uh, hoodie. And then underneath it is a Captain America onesie. I got a rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy, a sweatshirt hoodie thing too. And then everything's on top of a big Jurassic World and Dominus Rex blanket. But it's kind of hard to pull out and show, so you kind of get the idea. You can see the Indominus Claws right there. Over here, I have some more Jurassic World. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to get these. I've been wanting these ever since they came out as well. Whenever they came out with these a while ago, and then I just never got around to getting them. And I was really, really lucky to find the Mosasaur. Oh my goodness, I thought I was never going to get the Mosasaur. Because... I did not find him in stores, and online he was going up really expensive, and so I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get this guy. But then he finally shows up at a um, Kmart, so I got him, and I was so excited. He is super funny and cool. Look at him, he makes a... Yeah! He's so cool. And then the Indominus Rex was one I really wanted. Um, yeah. Also, Indominus Rex does stuff. Yeah. So, those guys are super cool. I've been getting really back into dinosaurs. Um, I've always liked dinosaurs since I was really little. But lately I've been getting into them a lot, lot more. Uh, over here, uh, I got a pair of Loki pants. Which are like um, lounging pants, or whatever you want to call them. I got a pair of those. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with those. Those are awesome. Behind here, I got some socks as well with narwhals, uh, octopi, and then the stripes. I don't know. They're cool looking though. Behind here are actually um, horses my mom got for me. She found them like for cheap. So she was just like, here, I gave these to you. I thought you might like them and stuff. And um, they're really cute actually. Those three, four right there actually, including the cow are um, safari horses. They're actually not too bad because safari doesn't have the best horses, but um, that quarter horse guy really there is cute. The pinto is really cute and the gypsy vanner is really cute. I love the gypsy vanner one. And then the cow there is really nice actually too. Oh yeah, and then there's a little foley there too. So those are some safari animals. Not huge on safari. I like Schleich and um, Popo way better. Well, actually, I don't really like the Popo horses, but I do like the other Popo animals. They like Schleich over Safari, but they're so cute. And then speaking of Schleich, there's some Schleich horses. Uh, ones I already have, but um, this one I especially love because it's one of the older ones. Ugh. And I have one of her already, but I still really love this one because she's one of my older ones. One of like the first or first-ish ones I had. So I really like her. And they're all the older ones, which I like a lot. And then um, I got a rearing dude and a running and illusion and a little foal. Then I did get two new Schleich's horses um, this year. Um, I always kind of liked this one, but I never got it and decided why not. And so I got him. He is really cute. I actually really like him. He is one of the better new ones. This one is one of my favorite Schleich horse molds when I was um, collecting them a lot and playing with them and stuff. So this is like a older mold in a new color and so I just had to get him because he's really pretty. 
and I love the original uh, Gypsy Venner, Venner Stallion one, so yeah, I'm not so huge into collecting the Schleich horses anymore just because I have a lot of them and I prefer to collect Briars over the Schleichs, but I am getting back into collecting other Schleich animals a lot now, so so I'm going to be showing now too. I got some cute little Schleich donkeys. I got a mama donkey and a little baby, or I think it's a mama, I don't know. But yeah, adult donkey and a baby donkey. They are both super, super adorable. Really, really well done. Yeah, they're fantastic. Uh, these Schleich zebras are also really nice, and I actually have the baby for these two already. I bought the baby a long time ago. But um, now I have the mama and the daddy, and they're so cute. Cute little zebras. They are really nice. Really, really happy with Schleich's quality in their things lately. Oh, okay. They'll sit down because this is hard to show. All right, all these little dinosaurs, they all came in this bag. Which was a Walmart exclusive Jurassic World dino bag thing. It had 15 dinosaurs, including uh, an exclusive Indominus Rex. And so, these are all the little guys I got. There's an Ankylosaur, two Mosasaurs. I don't know why I got the same one, but that's okay. I really like that one. It's cute. Uh, there's a Spinosaurus. A Stegosaurus, which is probably my favorite out of the bunch, actually, because um, the metallic color they used on the plates and stuff is really cool. There's a... oh my goodness, I just knew the name a while ago and I forgot. Pterosaur, is that what it's called? I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but Pterosaur, maybe. Uh, Pterodactyl. And there's a Velociraptor. There's two Triceratops. There's a Pachyosaur, which is a different color than the one I got a while ago. This one's brown and red. The other one I had was red. Uh, there's two Allosauruses. I believe these are Allosaurus. I don't... Allosauruses, however you say that. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure, but I think that's what these are. The red and green one there. And there's a T-Rex, which is kind of goofy looking because his head is like just massive compared to the rest of his body, I feel like. It's weird. But... He is still cool. I know! They all fell. Or one fell. Two fell. And then the lastly, the Indominus Rex here, who looks really cool. Speaking of Indominus Rex, I got an Indominus Rex ornament from my mom, and he is so cool. Or she is so cool, I mean. She is awesome! Look at her. So cool. This is a great ornament. And um, I'm not even going to use it as an ornament, probably. I'm just going to set it up as a figure because it is really cool and nicely done. And I got some other dinosaurs. I got a Schleich uh, Conator, which is really cool, and they have uh, hinge jaws, so you can open and close their jaws. I don't think I'm going to try and pull them out, but there is the Schleich T-Rex, the dark green one, and um, he is so awesome. I'm really impressed with the quality on him. And then I also got a Popo Velocis, uh, Velociraptor. He is really pretty as well. Or uh, she, he, she. It's kind of got the coloring of blue from Jurassic World, but not quite. Um, kind of just a similar style going on there. That one also has a hinged jaw. It's really cool. And then this little gator right here is not one I really planned on getting originally, but he is super cool. He's detail and color is just amazing. He looks like a real alligator. A crocodile. What is he? I don't know if he's an alligator or a crocodile. But he is so cool. He might be a crocodile. I don't know. I'm not really good at determining those as well. But um, he is so cool. Oh my goodness. I am in love with him. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. So I got him. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not really... Oh, let me show these guys first. Uh, I got some stable mates. I might customize one of these. That's why I have extras. A uh, little pony stable mate, too. Um, Alright, I'm not as been... Hasn't been... I haven't been... I haven't been, been as big into collecting My Little Pony, but I did get two um, apple fritter ponies because he is so cute. 
I know it says apple split, but I'm used to calling him apple fritter. But yeah, he's so cute. I had to get him. So I got another one too, for whatever reasons. Um, and I got a little Pez Rainbow Dash thing, which is cute. Like, yeah, Pez County things. People even know what those are anymore. <laughs> and um, along with the My Little Pony theme, I did get a um, Princess Luna plush. I'd never seen one of these before, and I saw it at Toys R Us, and she was just so cute, I had to get her. So yeah, she's really soft and adorable. I really like her. Alright, and then um, back here there's also another little T-Rex. Rawr, rawr! So, um, this is like a bubble bath thing or something, and a globe. I don't know, but I really got it just because the little T-Rex guy in here is really cute. Eh, focus. T-Rex gal. Yeah, she's awesome. So, that's why I got that. And now on to these two last briars. Um, this set actually came with Jesse, like, from who I bought him from. And this is a really cool tack set. It's probably the nicest um, one I have, or at least the saddle is anyway. It is a really nice saddle. Eh. Really, really cool. It's definitely nicer than the other one I had bought before. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like this saddle. Um, I don't know if it would be really LSQ quality or not, because that's a little hard to determine. But uh, I really like it anyway, and it's going to be shown in some upcoming videos and stuff. And yeah, it's so cool. I'm really, really happy about the saddle. And it came with a breast collar, a uh, back cinch, and the little uh, hackamore here, which is pretty nice. I just don't like this part as much. The string that was used is a little, little flimsy and stuff. But otherwise, super, super cool. Tuck set, and it's on the other Lakota pony that I already talked about. <clears throat> and now is here is uh, Jesse, who I finally got. I wanted him ever since he came out. I was waiting to go to a tractor supply that is sort of near me, but it's not. It's like an hour away. So I went to that tractor supply, and they didn't have Jesse. I was really bummed, but I managed to buy him online. So that worked out, and he is really, really cool. The Wyatt mold is awesome. Really fun mold. So... He is really cool. I may do reviews on some of these models and stuff later on, by the way. I know I'm really behind on model reviews right now, though. I need to try and get caught up. But he is super cool. I really love his color. I love his mold. Everything about him. Alright, and then, um, is that everything? I guess we can move on to the last... The last thing here. So, what I have here... Oh, wait, no, I forgot one thing. Sorry. This is not a very well organized video. I also got Sven from Frozen. I'm not a huge Frozen fan, but I do like Sven. He is a really cute reindeer. Yeah. So there he is. He is so cute. And he's got a cute little um, harness thing going on there. Yeah, he's so cute. My mom found him for me for a good price, so I got him. He's so cute. This day. Don't knock anything over now. All right, now on to the last thing, I believe. So, this here is a Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron standee or stand-up, whatever you want to call it. And it was supposed to be used for a display in, like, video stores. But I bought it from someone who never used it in a video store display thing. So it is literally brand new, and it is, wow, it is so awesome. It's even cooler than I thought it'd be. It's actually not even set up. This is just, it kind of folded out. There are other parts to it. There's like a sign thing that says spirit that's supposed to go down there, and it's not even stood up right now, and it just is amazing. Um, I don't have a place, a place to really stand it up right now, but eventually I'll get it stand uh, stood up and put it with my spirit collection stuff. So yeah, this is so, so cool. I really can't get over how awesome it is. The colors on it are just amazing. The only bad part is the, ooh, the corners of it did get a little bent up from when it was like in the box thing. On, 
both sides here just a little bit. But other than that, it is really amazing. Stay. Just don't slide down. That's not good. Um, so amazing. I mean, the colors on it are just so bright and beautiful. It's incredible. And it's huge. <laughs> it's massive. Like, I don't know how to do a scale, but it's, it's big. Ugh. I don't know how tall it is, but it's awesome. It's so cool, and it's kind of fun. A um, little thing over here on it with three M&M minis tube thing. Coupon expires uh, April 30th, 2003. So that kind of shows how old it is, too. How long was that now? Um, I guess that was almost 13 years ago now. Wow, craziness. So, so awesome, so cool. And so that was my Christmas haul, what I got for Christmas video. A lot of stuff and I realized it was probably kind of long. I'm sorry, I don't ever mean to make these videos long. I just tend to ramble on and stuff. All right, well, that's all of it. Um, I do have some fun new video ideas and stuff. Just getting the time to do them is hard. But I have a lot of videos coming up, um, hopefully sooner than later. And a lot of fun stuff to be had for 2016. And I'm hopefully going to do a video just about that to tell you what to expect for my channel. And all those awesome things. So yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year.